In this video, I'm going to be building one of the new Ninjago 2024 sets without spending a single dollar. So, let's get into it. So, around a month ago, I bought a few of the new Ninjago Dragons Rising sets. But there's one that I really like to build, but the minifigures aren't that good. So, I'm probably not going to pick it up. Which is this one, Sora's Mech. But as I really like the build, I'm going to be trying to build it in Lego with my own parts for my collection. So the first thing I did was to find the online instructions of the set so I could see what are the, were the main parts I would need. And yeah, after taking a quick look, I knew what I had to do. And to get the right amount of pieces, I had to take apart this set right here, which I'm actually kind of happy I did. Zane's mech, which is was a little bit of a pain, but it's all right. And then finally, I had to steal some joints from the golden mech. But I just replaced them with black ones instead of white, so it all worked out. So the first thing I built was the cockpit, but I wanted to make it fit in with the other mechs, and it needed that tile piece. So I went and grabbed the tile piece from Jay's mini mech and added it on. So, you know, now it worked out pretty well, and they fit in together. And after a little while of following the instructions built and building all the arms and legs, I had finally finished all of them and it was just time to put them together. But before I show you guys the final result, there's something I have to say. So recently, I've been making more of these types of videos and you guys seem to be enjoying them. And similar to a previous video of mine, I want to buy the new Ninjago March sets and make a video on them, but I don't have the budget. That's where you guys come in. With your help, I can get these sets and make more videos for you guys. So make sure you share this video with all your friends and family so I can get the money to buy these sets. It really helps me out a lot, and I would really appreciate it. Thanks for listening, and let's get back to the video. And here's the final result. So I think it looks really cool. Before making this video, I did make a community post with this build. And some people did say it looked a little bit more like a Zane mech with pink details. Which I do see where they're coming from as it has this shuriken here. It has the blue joints. But that's just because I don't have many white joints. I only have two and they're on a different mo a different set that I have. And I wasn't willing to take that apart. I did try to use the instructions but not of course. I'm pretty sure. None of the parts in this entire set are like 100% from the instructions. Like the cockpit and the arms are probably the closest. But this bottom part here, especially since I didn't have the new armor piece in gold. So I just had to use the evil ones and the legs. Like f from here down, it's practically, you know, I looked at the instructions, but it's not based on them. But the top, I try to base it a bit on. As you can see, I even gave it uh, the shuriken. I did not give it that weird sword thing because I didn't have the right pieces for it. And you know, if you just include a wolf warrior from the other sets, I added these little blades just like it has in the actual sets. Here's how it looks from the back. I even added these like little round pieces on the feet. And in case you were wondering, yes, my custom mech is compatible with the other mechs. So, Either way, you can mix and match them, so it works just like if it was the actual set. So yeah, I think it's a pretty decent build. And for all of you guys that are saying, Oh, but you didn't finish the set because you didn't put the tree. Well, it's a tree. I'm not building a tiny little tree. So if you want to see someone build a tree, go find a random speed build on YouTube of someone building it. Because I'm not using up my pieces to build this sh**. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. So remember to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends and family because as I said before, it really helps me out a ton and for you guys, it's just a click of a button. So thanks for watching and adios.